Hey Phoenixies, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna make this doll which is in a modern style. And you guys were requesting so much to make a doll which can change the hairstyle and change the dress as well. So this is what I'm making today. So without any further ado, let's get on into the video. So over here as you can see I've taken this craft wire and newspaper. Don't worry guys I'm not gonna use any sort of craft wire in this. You just have to see what I'm doing. You have to just use this creator coiling like this which has one side very tiny and the other one little bit wide. And then you have to stick this with normal glue and then you can remove the craft wire. And this is what you get so you have to make two of these. And after that again you will use the craft wire as the base and then create another coiling and then this is a newspaper I'll just fold it like this and then stick it then again fold it and stick it all right so once this is done now I'll just use this glue and then start rolling these two pieces with the newspaper just like you can roll the sushi with chopsticks <laughs> that's what the best I could find just to define this guys so don't worry about that you just have to fold it and then again you have to take your scissors and cut the sides like this so now again I'll just use this straw in the middle it's basically a plastic straw and then these sides will be made with this coiling which is of course the hands and once that is done again I'll use this newspaper and stick it on the lower part of the body alright so now it's time to stick it on the neck and of course the plastic straw I'll stick this newspaper on that as well and then I'll start applying this newspaper rolls on the parts I need the body to be nice. So I'll just stick these newspapers on top of that. So just the way it's done now I'll take this newspaper and I'll just crush it like this. Since this is done I'll just stick it on top of the neck. So this would be that of course and now you can see I'll just fold the legs and the hands and it's nicely movable so you can make a movable doll without craft wire, handmade paper clay or anything like that because I was getting so many requests of you guys so I had to make this. Then of course I'll stick a newspaper on the head and then newspaper over here as well. So once that is done I'll keep on applying the newspaper till when I get satisfied and the body looks nice because over here we are not using any kinds of paper clay so make sure you use the newspapers to give the body its shape and then you have to take this square shape of newspaper and fold it into this shape so this will be the nose and you'll stick that as well so once that is done again this is another newspaper stripe i'll just stick that also and then i'll cut this part okay so after cutting you'll just have to stick it on each of the sides for the ears now let's start painting the body of the doll and of course i'm using acrylic paint you can also use fabric paint instead and paint the skin and then of course this dark brown color on the head just for the base and then I'll just make the facial expressions too which are the eyes, lips and all alright so now as you can see the eyes are completed now I have just I have left to make these lips as well and once that is done the face is now completed is it? okay so now let's start making the dress and for that I've taken this beautiful blue colored fabric now what I'll do is that I'll cut this part out and as you can see this is how the cuttings will be so you can just follow the instructions and do yourself So once you open this part, as you can see, this is what you get. It's a very easy and basic tank top. So that's how you're going to make this. So now let's tie a knot on the back side of the doll. And then on the neck as well. Ok 
okay so once as you can see the top is now ready now i'll take this black colored fabric and over here what i'll do is that i'll take this beautiful sheet which is foam sheet and i'll stick it over here so once i'm done sticking that i'll stick this part as the belt buckle and then some black parts over here as well which are basically some foam sheets or you can also use some fabric cutouts okay so now this is the sticking fabric tape which i'll use just for the skirt over here so i'll stick this one part on this one side and the other part on the other side of the skirt so once i'm done sticking that as you can see the skirt can now open and close easily and now you can change the dress whenever you want to Okay, so now once the skirt is ready, now let's make this beautiful blazer which you can also say is a beautiful stylish jacket. Now what you have to do is that you have to fold the fabric and cut these parts out. And after you're done doing that, as you can see, this is the kind of cutout which you'll get out of this fabric and it also has a hole inside it. So now what you can do is that you can cut this part from the front. And after doing that, you'll take the same other fabric and now what you'll do is that you'll make the sleeves. And for that, you'll again fold the fabric and cut these parts. Okay, so now you can see you get these two parts which will be for the sleeves and now what you have to do is that you have to start sticking it over here. So guys, as you all requested me to make no sew clothes, so that's what I'm going to do over here. I'm just using some fabric glue and sticking these. Now I'll take the same fabric stripe and now what I'll do is that I just fold it over here. After folding it from the half, I'll cut this part into a slanting line and once that is done, this will be the collar over here. So I'll just stick it over here as well. So I'll first fold these parts and then I'll stick the collar. Okay, so once that is done, as you can see, this is how the blazer looks right now. Now I'll just use some glue and I'll just, first of all, I'll use my fingers and I'll see the size which is absolutely perfect. Now I'll just fold it over here from the sleeves. Then I'll use some white gems or you can also use some white sequins and stick it as a button. Then you can just use the hands and put it inside of the doll and you can make the doll wear this cool blazer. So as this is a handmade movable newspaper doll so it's very easy to just make her wear any sort of clothes you want. So now over here I've taken this black fabric again and I'll just use my scissors and I'll cut this part out. So again I'm telling you guys you can use any kind of creativity and imagination to make any kind of doll dress over here. So now as you can see this is how the fabric looks right now. So once I stick this part over here. Then I'll fold it again. So as you can see, this is how it looks right now. After folding it, you can stick this part. So I'll just make the two of them alike. And 
then I'll use some cotton and put them inside. Once I'm done doing that, I'll stick this black fabric part on the base and this will create this beautiful pair of boots for her. Alright, so now I'll make her wear the boots. So guys, as you can see, putting the cotton inside will just make the shape more perfect and also will make the doll look a little bit taller if you want. So after making her wear the shoes, you can adjust the styles and just stick it over there. So now as you can see, this is how the doll looks right now. Now as you can see, I'm just gonna start making the hairs. So guys, over here, first of all, I thought that let's make the doll hairs a little bit highlighted. But then I thought that she is looking more beautiful without the highlights. So I decided not to put that. But if you want, you can also put it. So I decided to show the tutorial that if you guys like some highlighted hairs and funky styles, so you can definitely use this tutorial. But I decided not to put the strands of the light color. So don't mind doing that. Okay, so now you can already see how I made the hairs for the doll. And if you don't know how to make the hairs and you want to see it in more details, then you can go and check out all of my doll videos. There you can find the tutorials more relaxing. And now as you can see, what I'm doing going to do is that I'm going to make some beautiful golden funky jewelry for her. So for that, I'm using my needle and thread and some beautiful golden colored beads. So you can use your creativity and make any kinds of beautiful earrings, jewelry or whatever you want. Some accessories, you can use anything and customize your own doll. It's totally your choice and it depends on you how you want to make your doll look. So this is the earrings which are very tall. I decided to make some tall earrings with this outfit. So I'll just stick it over here on the ears and once I'm done doing that as you can see this is how my doll looks and again I'm telling you guys that I am not using highlighted hairs for her but you can use it so that's why I showed you the tutorial and now let's start making her beautiful accessories which are just fun beautiful silver colored glitter purse for her which is a bag and now what I'll do is that I'll take this glitter foam sheet make some cutouts over here and then I'll just use the stripe for the purse handle and once that is done as you can see I'll just stick it over here put some card paper cutouts on each of the sides like this Then over here I'll just take these parts. Then over here for the button I'll use some black gems and over here as well. So this is the adjusting buckle for the purse and now I'll just take these handles on each of the sides. So it's now a beautiful sling bag for the doll. So guys, after doing that, I'll take a black pen and I'll make the line just so it can show a bit more beautifully. And once that is done, you can just show your creativity on the purse as well. You can make some designs or some colorful purse, whatever you like. So this is how my bag looked like for the doll. Now as you can see, the doll is ready with the beautiful bag. So let's make the show and let's show you how she looked finally. So guys, this is the final video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And guys, don't forget a part 2 of this video is gonna come very very soon in which you're gonna see how to just make her look more beautiful by changing her dress and also changing her hairstyles with some beautiful accessories. So make sure you wait for that. The part 2 is gonna come very very soon. So if you like this video, please make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. Till next time, bye bye.